Hello everybody, this is Becca from Becca Harkins Art. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'm going to be working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And As you can see, I already attempted this painting once and didn't like the results, so I scraped it all off and I'm trying again. This color you see me pouring down here is a custom color that I mixed up. It is very soft and muted. I started with crimson red and then I added a whole bunch of stuff. If you want to know how to make this color, I will list what I added in the description of this painting. The next color that I'm adding here is Amsterdam Titanium White, and both of my base colors are mixed with Olga's Group 2 recipe. When I list my colors in the description, I will always list whether or not they are mixed with Olga's Group 1 or Group 2 recipe, so that if you've taken Olga's class and you'd like to follow along, you know which colors were mixed with which recipe and how they are layered accordingly so that you can get the results you're looking for. I get so many questions about how much base paint is enough or too little for a Dutch pour, and I find it really difficult to answer that question. So in last week's video, I announced that I created a Dutch pour base coat cheat sheet to help you mix up the correct amount of paint for the correct size canvas. That is available on my website. All you have to do is put in your email address and the cheat sheet will be email directly to you, uh, you can go to www.beccaharkins.com to get your free copy of the base coat cheat sheet. Or if you want to click on last week's video, I do have the link listed in the description of that video and it will take you directly there. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you, I have a big sale going on on my website. You can get up to 70% off original paintings. I w am ready to move out some inventory, make room for 2024's paintings, and that means you can get a great deal on your favorite original fluid art painting by Becca Harkins. So check it out, see which one you like, and go ahead and place your orders. The colors that I've used in this painting, other than the base coat, are the first layer that I put down is pewter. I've really been having fun with this color. It's kind of like a mix between silver and gold, and it's created some shiny but like very soft and inviting results. I feel like sometimes the gold can be too much and the silver is not enough, but the pewter seems to be this really happy middle ground. So I'm going to continue to explore using this color and see what colors it complements and really accentuates. The other colors that I've put down are Iridescent Blue Green by Pebio, and then that purple color is actually a magenta mixed with Pebio's blue-black iridescent color. And I forget what it's called exactly. It's called iridescent black blue or iridescent blue black or something like that. I don't actually really like that color by itself very much, but this shiny iridescent purple color that I've gotten is pretty cool. So we'll see how this turns out. The blowout is really cool. I love the way that it makes 
the paints flow together and I also love the cells popping up but I have to say that adding these finger pools and added definition and structure to this painting has become the part that I look the most forward to and it is the most relaxing for me. I think it's just amazing that with a simple swipe of the finger it can all come together and what kind of looks like a mess <laughs> at after I blow it out, the composition really comes together and you can see what I had envisioned from the beginning. I love adding little details and bringing life to this painting. This section here where I drew the purple line around that petal, the group one color is kind of spreading out within the group two color and is creating this thick line that I don't feel like is consistent with the look of the rest of the composition. So that's why I'm dabbing that section out there with a the paper towel. I'm going to add a little bit more paint and try to re-blow that to see if I can get a look that feels more consistent with the rest of the painting. I let this painting sit for about a week so I could examine the results and see what I wanted to do next with it because to me it just looks a little bit flat. There's not quite enough definition between the darks and the lights and I wanted to do something to accentuate it and just bring this painting to life, give it more depth and more vibrancy. So I'm taking my awesome brushes that I got from Zen Art Supplies and I'm going to be painting some contour lines around the petals and just in in and out I'm going to be painting some white, some purple, some turquoise and just seeing if I can get this painting into a place that I feel more comfortable with. Watch till the end because I totally got into a zone when I was doing this and started embellishing in ways that I have never done before. Honestly, I wasn't thinking about what I was doing. It was just kind of happening. And that's getting into flow state. And let me tell you, flow, fellow artists, don't you just love getting into flow state? It's such a breath of fresh air where everything else just melts away and it's just you and the painting coming to life and bringing what's inside of you out into this beautiful creation.
this painting took on a whole new meaning during its creation process. I was thinking about new life, about growth and opportunities, about family, and there was just something about the old falling away and the new coming to fruition, about the life cycle and the stages of life and how there are things that are older that need to go to make room for the things that are new and that are growing. And it just kind of took on a life of its own. And I absolutely love the end result of this painting. It's so meaningful to me, and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and if you found this valuable, and don't forget to share it. I will see you for the next one.